What is something you say to scammers instead of hanging up? I give them a phone number one digit at a time and ask them to repeat it as a whole after each one. Then tell them they got it wrong when I'm done and start over. I do this but with my name. Tell me your name is like Mohamed Abdullah Ibrahim. And they just give up after the second H. I once repeated aha, uh -huh, go on. Over and over until they got really irritated and then just hung up on me. Scammer was Indian. I'm Indian. I put on my Indian accent then accused him of putting on a bad fake Indian accent to make fun of me and told him he should be ashamed of himself. It was a few seconds of fun. Mr. Smashing Stuff. I'm calling about an accident you were involved in that wasn't your fault. Oh it wasn't an accident. I meant to hurt those people. The pause you get before being immediately escalated to a manager is like crack to me. Oh hang on. Let me get the. They'll be able to help you. Then just turn the microphone off and go about my day. We have a Rickroll extension. We forward them to it after telling them about the brief hold and then check the recording length the next day to see if they've beaten the record. What's the record? I've done this and handed the phone to my kids. When they were toddlers. Before. To. I used to let them talk to my daughter when she was two all the time. She thought it was the best thing in the world one moment. I'll get the lady of the house for you right now. Hee hee I woo. Hi there, and thanks for calling Cardiff Aquarium. Please be aware your call may be recorded for training purposes. I once saw caller ID, landline days, with a number that I figured was a telemarketer. In a tough voice, without saying hello I asked, is he dead? And about a beat and a half later I said, because if he ain't dead, don't you even think about coming back here. Then what sounded like a young woman on the other end said, um... Uh, uh, bye. Hope she had as much fun telling her friends as I had telling mine. So, I am definitely going to use this next time. My dad used to get a lot of Viagra salesmen. So he pleads with them to stop sending free samples because he's too hard all the time and can't live his life. Ah, I'm so glad you called. Your free sample is great. However, it's been 4 hours now and I've been wondering. How do I get it? You know. Down. Salesman starts describing emergency priapism treatment. Here's a quick peek. Excess blood is drained from your penis using a small needle and syringe. Aspiration. As part of this procedure, the penis might also be flushed with a saline solution. I ask them to confirm my information for security purposes. Breaks their script and they don't know what to say. That's a good one. We should use this to verify parties calling us, companies, at least here in the Netherlands. Do the same. I have to confirm my I am me. When I call them. Hi. I'm calling about your car's warranty that's about to expire. What creature sat in the corner the first time Harry Potter visited my office in Hogwarts? UMM. Sir? What creature? I just answer politely and eventually say goodbye because I'm nice and boring. I sometimes just say yes instead of no. Just to let you know. By law I'm required to inform you that this is a premium phone line that will be billed directly to your provider. By calling here you agree to accept all charges. Something like that not only gets them to hang up, but they tend to stop calling me after that. My mother is older and retired for some time now. She makes a game out of screwing with them. She kept one calling from Microsoft going for a good 20-30 minutes having them try to direct her to install something. She just kept playing dumb and asking them to explain what they meant or to describe what she should be looking for. At the end she drops, do you think I'm having trouble finding start or windows because I'm on the Mac? And then just laughs and told them she'd be wasting their time on purpose. I think she said she was cooking or something like that the whole time. Other times she will just keep telling them they've got a bad connection and asks them to keep repeating themselves at which time she blows this shrill high pitched whistle into the phone while they try and talk. Wash, rinse, repeat until they hang up. My dad passed away more than a decade ago and when he was pretty much stuck at home towards the end he'd screw around with them and sit and give them incorrect credit card numbers and sh until they caught on. I called a lot then to check in on him and on more than one occasion he switched lines to grab Michael and he'd say, I wonder if they'll still be on hold when we're done taking? Don't get me wrong my parents are generally not malicious people. Quite the opposite actually, they just have some kind of particular axe to grind with telemarketing and scammers as they got to their older ages. When I was a kid it was always a polite, no thank you. Hi, we have been trying to reach you about your car's warranty, that's great. 
What plans can you offer me on my 97 Geo Metro? I've only been in 6 wrecks. They usually just give up. My mom used to drive a Geo Metro. Then the hood latch failed while we were on the freeway. Nobody got hurt or anything. But we never felt safe in it again. She got rid of it very shortly after that. If they are calling about windows and doors, I tell them I live in a tent. You are calling a tent. Did you know this? If they call about HVAC, I tell them I live in a castle, and we heat it in the winter time by burning witches. I pretend to be the dumbest guy in the world. Them you should update your home security. Me like how? The May camera on the front door is a good street. Me. Interrupts. Front door? My front door is on the side of my house. How will that work? Do you have a side door camera? Them yes sir of course. We have many diff. Me. Interrupts again. Phew. I have looked so long for a side front door camera salesman. You sir. Are my savior. Are you married? Side front doors. Not to be confused with real fake doors. So. What is your password? Kaya Yuthu. Big K. Small Cyrillic Yap. Polish you. Icelandic Eth. Turkish Dotless I. No bot will ever brute force this. Scammer. Oh you mean K. Is that correct? Demon summons from the floor. WTF do you want? I was sleeping. I've put them on hold before. As if I'm working in a call center. Had a guy on hold for 5 or so minutes it was quite ridiculous that he stayed on the line. I can guarantee he probably appreciated the free break. Exactly. In one video by Kid Boga, a popular scam baiter, he was trolling this one guy for like an hour before the guy admitted he knew he was being trolled from the beginning and just wanted to waste time. As the bonus he got from actually scamming someone was very little. He then proceeded to reveal large amounts of the company's information. Agreed. Likely figured. F it'll sit and wait. This is what my grandfather used to do. Hello? Oh. HMM. Let me get my wife. Wouldn't hang up. Just set the phone down and went back to watching golf. I sometimes try to sell them stuff. I once spent 45 minutes on a slow day at work trying to sell a 120 kilogram vibrator to some dude. My son always tells them I have a belly button. Leaves them speechless. I used to get a lot of home security calls offering alarm systems and cameras. I would of course ask all the curious questions and then lead them to believe I was using the alarm system and cameras to keep people inside the house. The questions those guys asked should have raised huge red flags to anybody they talked to. But you just know some people gave real information. I kept one on the line once, and I was besides myself at all the questions they were asking. I was fairly certain they'd just come by and rob you the next time you were at work. Where do you live? How many doors and windows on the first floor? What configuration? Any dogs? How often is your house empty when do you go to work? Any computers? Jewelry? Expensive paintings? ETC? Jesus. Literally everything I would ask if I was calling up someone so I could rob them. LOL reminds me of a case where a fake UPS guy visited a German streamer and was like we have a really big package to deliver to you the next few days. When are you not at home? Just so we don't miss you, and we need some strong men. Do you have any strong men living here? Do you by chance have anything that could alert me when small children try to get out my basement windows? You mean try to get in? Did I fine stutter? Play along for as long as possible. Just giving them fake details. You can tell the frustration slowly builds but they are still trying to be all nice and helpful. For car insurance scammers go to eBay and start giving them VIN numbers to insure your cars. Don't use exotics. They just hang up if you give them an Aston Martin VIN. You can even try to buy these policies give them a fake CC user generator. For credit card scammers you can generate a card that will pass their validations but they won't be able to do anything else with it. Give them several. It's good fun. I once had them basically have their supervisor get on to help me consolidate my supposed 80k of credit card debt on 3 fake CCs. Social security scammers are fun as well. Give them a fake social and they'll make up stories about how you got convicted of a crime. Dude was telling me that I had a felony conviction in Texas related to a rental car and thus my social security number was suspended. I spent a good 40 minutes working with him to exonerate myself before they hung up on me. Also you are always Christopher Ray and your address is 935 Pennsylvania Raven W Washington. 
DC 20535 United States. A friend of my father did this. They told him there was a virus I'm his computer and he had to get to it immediately. So for IDK 20 minutes or more he was just standing there going aha, yeah yeah, and pretending he was actually doing stuff with his computer. Then by the end of it he goes oh I don't have a computer. The scammer lost his chat in calling my dad's friend a scammer. One of my roommates did this. Got a call from Windows support. So he pretended to be an old man who didn't understand how computers worked. He strung them along with fake details and made them explain everything to him step by step. He wasted a little over 2 hours of their life. Call ended when my roommate told them he was using Windows XP and the scammer angrily told him that he needed to throw the computer away. I do this as well. One time I kept a Microsoft technician on the phone for over 40 minutes. At the end he raged at me lol. I did this as well. And when I finally told them I knew this was BS all along. And I had in fact been sitting on a Mac the whole time not Windows. They said but we are Apple also. Yes I want to extend my warranty. My 2010 Ram 1500 has 350k miles on it. Okay. Thank you. I once spent almost 30 minutes on the phone with one of these vehicle warranty tele stalkers. Got all the way up to confirming make model etc. When they told me that they made a mistake and couldn't cover my 1974 International Harvester 100 series after all. I became fake hysterical until they hung up. Didn't get another call for a whole week. Lol. Heavily flirt. Breathes shakily keep talking. Haha. <laughs> I have gotten overly sexual with a few of them just for fun lol. Just treat them like a full on sex line. Have actually gotten one to apologize for calling and promise he would never call me again. Instructions unclear. Now getting married next month. The bride and groom have agreed to exchange original vows. Ahem. My love. Not a day goes by that we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. Hi sorry this is my work line. So I don't take personal calls on here. Here's my home phone. Insert phone number of other known scam or other prank call number here call me there later and we can talk. Works better for texting based scams, but would probably work for calls too. I will let Jim Browning know about what is going on here. Thanks, if you don't know, Jim Browning is what scammers check under their beds for at night. When I'm not feeling creative, I just tell the truth. Scammer, you bought tech support from us last year. Emmy, no, I didn't. Scammer, yes, you bought our tech support package, it's about to expire. Emmy, there isn't anything to expire, etc. They're not supposed to hang up, so they try for a long time before finally giving up. I regard wasting their time as a minor public service. I do the same with the your car's warranty people. Emmy, oh, which car? Them, what kind of car do you have? Emmy. I have a couple, which were you talking about just now? Them, we work with any car. Emmy, no, you called me about my car. You said the warranty was expiring. Check your list there. Which car are you talking about? This isn't a scam is it? Hello, sir, this is the Microsoft offices. We're calling to inform you that your computer is infected with a virus. My computer? Yes, sir. And if you do no take steps to correct it we will be forced to shut down your system remotely. Which one? What? Which computer? I have a couple. The one running Microsoft Windows. They all run Microsoft Windows. Yes. Well. I am showing they are all infected. You can literally hear him salivate. So you're monitoring my systems right now? Yes. Despite the fact that doing so is a violation of multiple federal laws? Click. I do something similar. But instead of talking about violating federal laws, I say oh, so you're monitoring all the computers on this Asami installation? I thought we had our own it's specialists that do that. I don't work on an army base. Are you touching yourself too? Yes. But what do you say to scammers? Nothing. I'm too busy. I tell them my mother said to me not to talk to strangers and ask them to call me on FaceTime. I tell them my name is Billy Madonna. And I drive a 1993 Toyota Paseo. Then I start getting pissed when they tell me they actually can't give me an extended warranty on my car. I mean, why can't you? You called Demi, and the machine said I could get an extended warranty. That is false advertising. Let Emmy speak with your supervisor. I can't drive anymore. Why not? 
Judge said I'd go to jail if I ever drove again after all my DUIs and running over that family. Keep making up atrocities until they hang up. Made a new account just to comment this. I used to do cold call sales. Nothing scammy. Just annoying. I didn't like doing it and I'm glad I got out of it. I guess one guy got tired of getting calls from us because he went off on a tirade about how he was caught in the middle of a famous pedophilia scandal. His business had gone bust as a result and he had lost all his friends and his family didn't want anything to do with him. His reputation was destroyed and he ranted about how he wasn't involved but the press had printed his name and that was it. We had a policy where we couldn't hang up our phones no matter what until we had gone through our script so I had to sit and listen to this guy rant for 45 minutes. He kept me late after work too. Googled him when I got home and found nothing related to the scandal. So I'm 99% sure he was bullshitting to waste my time and stop us calling him again. And you know what? That family had it coming. With that stick figure family decal on the rear window. Even had the fine dog. It is the mark of the devil. It's in the bible. So anyway. I started blasting. Several years ago. My car got the absolute beaten out of it by a hailstorm. Like. $5,000 worth of damage. I wasn't planning on keeping it long term anyway so I never bothered to get it fixed. One day a few months later I dropped it off for an oil change. And the used car dealer next door called me with one of those, your car is a harder to get model and we'd like to offer you a trade in. Calls. Have you actually seen my car? Oh yes. We're looking at it right now. And you want to buy it off me? Yes. We'd love to get that conversation going with one of our sales representatives. So you're fine with all the hail damage? Um, well we can and you know the sunroof is broken too right? Oh, I mean, if you saw it you'd know that. They hung up and never called me again. Damn, you should have let them just buy it. I kept a RSS administration agent on the phone for well over 2 hours. We were in prime covered lockdown so I had a time. He wanted me to prove my innocence of a crime that my SS was tied to, murder, kilos of cochise, and money laundering. The only way to show I was a victim of identity theft was to use all my money and buy Amazon gift cards. Even got in the truck and turned it on to drive around the block. I got back in the house and the scammer wanted the codes off the back. I told him I bought Nike cards BC they were out of Amazon. Jerry Parker was not pleased but that he could still verify my identity using Nike. So here I am with my life savings of $375 in Nike gift cards and I start having reservations about scratching the cards. At this point he starts threatening an arresting agent will be sent to my house and getting hostile. Told me to go F myself and when I asked what I should do with the Nike cards, he said shove them up my A. Despite that, he would not hang up. I kept asking for supervisors and ways to call him back or verifiable contact info for his friend in the FBI, but it wasn't until I overheard his supervisor come by and give him the ok to hang up. Wasting their time is a great way to get removed from their call list. Depends on the scam call. Recently I'm getting a lot of weird calling in regards to your recent car accident. I relied with how dare you. I died in that accident. 911 what's your emergency? I usually pretend to be an answering machine. I'm intrigued. How do you do it? Does it work? I pretend to speak robot and only converse with beeps and boops. For example, me. Hello. Scam call. Random scam tactic. Me. Boo op. Scam call. UHH hello. Miss. Me. B e e e e e e f beep beep. Scam call. Mumbles WTF. Continue conversing in robot tones until they give up. It's worked every time but once. One time the scammer thought I was a kid and kept asking me to give the phone to my mommy or daddy. That time, I had to hang up. Every other time they get annoyed or frustrated and hang up. This is fantastic for me for three reasons. I find it highly amusing and it takes no brain power. It's my own fun game to see how long they'll endure the noises. It's usually not long. If you're at a social event, answer a call and speak in beeps and boops it is highly entertaining for others. I'm a grown A woman in her 40s. Rarely do I get a chance to speak complete nonsense and just make funny noises so it always makes me smile. Highly recommended. I take a deep breath and let out a continuous raspberry. Fart noise with your tongue. For as long as I can. When I stop to take a breath I usually hear up, hello, and then I take a big breath again and continue. No one has made it to two full raspberries before hanging up on me. 
Honestly of all the replies this is the only one that made me actually laugh. I'm a child. We're all children. Dick. No one has made it to two full raspberries before hanging up on me. Is the redid comment for me to end the day on? Here. Have a free award funny stranger. This is 91.7 KSCM The Bridge. You are the 7th caller and you won. Are you excited are you excited? I whisper into the mic to make them turn the volume on their headsets up then suddenly start yelling. Shouting in Arabic mostly get them pretty scared. Same with Russian. I'll usually say, hello, and then when they take even a second to long to answer I start shrieking at them. Who are you? What do you want? Why do you waste my time? They usually hang up immediately after that. Friend in college was originally from Poland and whenever a scammer called, he'd just start barking at them in Polish. They'd hang up almost immediately lol. English seems to be one of the few languages that doesn't sound scary when yelled. When they start asking for information, I ask you call me you should know all of that already they hang up. You've reached the FBI telephone fraud division. How may I help you? I actually keep this video queued up for whenever I get IRS or extended warranty calls from India. Don't know what he's saying but it really pisses them off. Is this what you wanted to be when you grew up? When I know it's a scammer calling, I talk annoyingly slowly. Sometimes I like to do the same thing Yautab explanation videos do, and go on a long and winding tale of how, whatever company they say they are from, was formed, its history and how I joined them. Just start chanting in Latin. Most hang up quickly. One begged me not to curse her family. Laura Mipsum. Please sir, don't do it. Laura Mipsum. Speaking as slow as possible. Yes. My social security number is 1.2 um, 3.4 um, 5, 6, 7 um, 8 what's that now? Oh, 9, it's a 9, and the letters at the end are F and U, or I have some old phone numbers memorized, when you give them the 10 digit they sometimes catch on. I got a laugh from one I said my name was Jacob Mehoff, spelled it out first and said but I go by Jack, he laughed and hugged up, great feeling. 